What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about several different topics in this video here today. We'll be talking about Jeepers Creepers 4 in the box office that it has currently. Storm Reed and her casting in The Nun 2. We'll be talking about Scream 6 and then talking about Final Destination 6. So just to kick it off with The Nun 2, Storm Reed has been cast as the lead of The Nun 2. And I know my Euphoria fans out there will know this is Gia, Rue's little sister. And she's been several other projects like The Suicide Squad from last year and The Invisible Man and just many other projects where she's displayed nothing but skill in every role i've seen her in so i am looking forward to seeing her uh put up that or put forth that skill set in a horror movie especially going up against valak can't wait to see how she how her performance is in this movie so there are no specifics on her role but we know of course that the nun 2 is coming next september and tyson farmiga should be back i don't think we've actually had an announcement about her though and akila cooper has written the screenplay for it or is pinning the screenplay we know this about the plot as well it's still set in the 50s 1956 set in france a priest is murdered and even an evil is spreading the sequel to the worldwide smash hit the nun smash hit maybe financially <laughs> it follows a sister it follows sister irene as she once again comes face to face with the demonic force valak the demon nun now a casting call that i did a video on made it made it seem like this would be set at a school named saint mary's or something and the possessed character of frenchie from that first movie is there causing trouble so we'll see what ends up happening in the nun too because so far going off of the characters and the age that was listed for said characters i don't know if storm reed would fall into any of those roles although of course they could tweak the ages of these characters if her casting required it but storm reed again has joined the cast of the nun too tysa farmiga again with the plot already describing that sister irene is supposed to be involved of course they could recast but it all but confirmed that tysa will be back now if they've already announced tysa and i'm just forgetting let me know down in the comment section below but we should learn more about the nun too of course as things start to approach the release date and as it starts to get ready to film later this year i'm assuming or sometime early next year later this year seems more likely but jumping into jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers 4 has has made nearly one million dollars worldwide and this isn't including the domestic box office so far so we'll see what happens overall with it it has managed to bring in eight hundred ninety two thousand dollars worldwide and of course that is a flop so far however it's funny how this managed to reach even those amount of numbers with very little to no marketing that again is is a sign to not only me but i know many of you that if this was somehow done correctly this could be a bigger success because the third movie did the same thing i recall making like one million in one night we don't need victor salva back to to continue this and i know i've seen you guys joking about it in my dms in the comment section of course he is a more competent filmmaker from what we've seen compared to what we just got to witness from four but we don't need that man back while he may be the more comp competent one and has a filmmaking background he has ruined his chances of making movies he does not need to make any more movies now again what you need i stated this in another video what you need is somebody who is again competent has a horror interest or some type of experience making horror movies and wants to do a quality film overall they don't even really need to have a history in horror they need to have a I would say a history of quality filmmaking perhaps they don't even need that just somebody who gives off a vibe that they know what they're doing if i'm being honest the entire time with four timo never gave off that vibe to me uh, so we need that and if that can't be found the cash grabs need to stop and this ip just needs to be put to bed there's no reason to bring out movies like this that are so bad just to make a profit off of it because at the end of the day yeah you could argue jeepers creepers 4 was nothing more than a cash grab and we'll see if myriad pictures decides they want to continue this ip going forward after this lawsuit stuff jumping into scream 6 we got a first look at the ghost face mask that's been used on screen for scream six some auction stuff or something is going on for the mask that you see here on your screen which is signed by a few cast members i think melissa jenna mason and maybe jasmine too 
This was again used during filming. So I look forward to seeing it in action on screen next March on the 31st when Scream 6 arrives in theaters. RJ Torbert is the one who alerted us all of this upcoming glimpse that we would get. And of course it came. And so there's your look at Scream. That's that one of the Scream 6 masks or the Scream 6 masks. We'll of course see it in more context with the robe and you know Ghostface in action. And we'll get to see of course the, all, the, all the appropriate context when the movie releases next year or when they start dropping footage like the trailer or a poster. And I know it's been dropped on news lately i know but maybe we'll have a poster or something revealed for the scream 2 re-release because something tells me the re-release is happening for a reason outside of just you know wanting to recognize the 25th anniversary of scream 2 the last release or re-release revealed an announcement for the scream 5 trailer when you went out to go see the first movie when it had its fathom event last year so we'll see if they follow the same suit with scream 6 and this scream 2 re-release maybe there's something that they have at comic-con because i think comic-con in new york is next month so maybe something at comic-con will be revealed we'll learn all of that shortly because i know a lot of you are like oh my gosh where's the scream six stuff you want some promo and it's coming i really do think they are going to take a halloween ends approach where they don't tell us as much because of how much was leaked prior to filming a scream five so i liked how i like how so many things are being tight-lipped honestly even though i know I, I want more stuff too but just to jump into this last topic here final destination 6 seems to have found its directors or it has found its directors for the film and it's going to be helmed by the directors of freaks that 2018 sci-fi movie which was i haven't seen it recently but i recall watching it in 2018 i'm gonna have to revisit it i recall it being very good so i'm curious to see what these two can do uh yes you have two directors you have Zach Lipovsky and Adam Stein or Steen, they are going to be the ones directing this upcoming film. We know Guy Busick is involved as well. And check out Freaks again if you want to get familiar with this director duo. I'm going to not spoil how these two managed to, like, I guess, secure their spot as directors with a, an interesting Zoom call. I'll leave a link to the article in the description because it's pretty wild. It's very entertaining i can't wait to see what they bring to the table with uh, final destination the hollywood reporter broke this news and stated that stated this regarding the plot plot details are kept under lock and key but the core concept remains character has a premonition of a horrific and deadly event cheats his or her own death and saves several others lives in the process only to have death as a personified but unstoppable force come for the come for the survivors one by one now jeffrey reddick the franchise creator did say this would change up the formula early this year so i guess we won't know what that means until later on as usual when things start kicking off with the movie like production wise but let me know what you guys think about all these updates down in the comment section below if you have already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video